border between Croatia and Bosnia and the weather is absolutely terrible. It's been raining. Do you want to grab my passport just in case? The nice thing about Guest House Slavka is that they've given us some free orange juice. And it also kind of reminds me of staying at your nan's house. Went in the Game of Thrones shop and bought two shitty little fridge magnets so that I could have a picture on the Iron Throne. Seven pounds. <laughs> Seven, yeah, two, two fridge magnets. Well, one of them was a bookmark, but it had crease in it. But it was the last one that they had, they had so I bought a crease bookmark, but... Ooh, and we ate at the vegetarian restaurant last night and it's so popular we had to book our table for tonight so at 6 p.m. we're gonna go to the vegetarian restaurant Nishta Nishta, yeah, the only one the only one in pretty much Croatia because underneath there is a gate the city basically they film loads of games of throne scenes here but they look fucking nothing nothing like <laughs> the the places I'd be like, yeah, this is where they film Game of Thrones, right here. It's Brit War. Yeah, they use it as a green screen. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also read online that the first, obviously, seasons of Game of Thrones was filmed in Malta uh, for King's Landing but uh, they couldn't go back because they destroyed too much stuff. <laughs> so that's why they moved to Dubrovnik. Chris also read up to buy your water before getting on the wall because it's like four times the price up on the wall. You're a superhero, Chris. Modern day superhero, me. And we've almost been walking this wall for two hours and we've just made it to the house of the undying dead in Game of Thrones. Which looks nothing like it in Game of Thrones. So this is definitely it, the bit that looks the most like the movie. It's where she's looking, oh, she's looking at that hole. She's looking up to see if she can get her dragons. It's uh, very busy. We don't know how to pronounce it, but it's where the communication tower was up on the hill above Dubrovnik, and it got bombed in 1991. First of October. Three days before my birthday. Three days before my birthday. It was early Saturday morning when the battle for Dubrovnik intensified. Tanks and heavy guns of the Serbian-dominated Federal Army pouring in fire from their positions in the surrounding mountains. The majority of the city's population took to the underground shelters. But those who ventured outside witnessed the coordinated land, sea and air attack on their city. They didn't think Dubrovnik was going to get hit in this war because it's such a hub for like culture and art. The, is it a UNICEF? UNICEF yeah, yeah. UNESCO, World UNESCO World Heritage Sites. So they just thought they'd leave it alone. This is what we can see from the top of Fort Surge, Mount, Mount Surge. It's definitely well worth coming here. I think people that just get the cable car up and go back down again completely miss out on all the history of how important this is. Once again, the main target for the Federal Army guns was the Napoleonic fort on Mount Surge above Dubrovnik, the Croatian defender's most vital position. Federal Navy ships appeared offshore to join the attack. That's the tower. where they defended Dubrovnik. 
people on the path down.